So here we are again. And finding some weird stuff out about TIG welding. You do a lot of it and use the whole machine's output power. Typically the torch does not survive it because of heat. It gets very hot. In my case, I'm running the TIG 200 from Lincoln. I still got the stock torch, which is only good for 150 amps. Well, I tried welding at 200 and I was able to do it until literally I smoked the torch. Completely trashed it. So, one of the things I did was I set out to get a cooler. Well, the only thing I could find that was cheap was the Cool Arc 22 or 20, whichever it was. And yeah, that's uh, that ain't in my playing field. I'm not looking for something that's going to cost me a couple thousand dollars or well up over a thousand dollars. It's just not my thing. And I figured, well, you know, hey, I'm an engine nerd. I could pipe some stuff up. This is what I came up with. These fans are the Stinger SJ, sorry, SGJ 34s. These are fast. If you've never used these fans, these are fast. These are a lot of power. These are like, yeah, a little over half an amp, 105 CFM a piece. There's four of them. And I'm running two trans coolers, a reputable brand. I didn't want anything that was junk. I didn't want to have to be doing this two, three, four, five times in a row. Got a cheap tank, one liter. And the way I'm going to run this thing is I'm going to pipe the hot water in here that hot water is going to come up through this line go into the tank and drop this holding tank would be a good temperature mixing device then it's going to come out it's going to go down here and it's going to run into that radiator right there that's going to come out of here it's going to pump straight into this one at the bottom fill it up it's going to come out cold and then it's going to come through this pump right here. This pump is probably too much. I highly doubt I need that much pressure. I think it's 80 PSI on that thing. I'm not trying to go for that kind of a pressure switch amount. That's a lot. But anyway, it comes out of the pump, comes out the cold side. What I'll do is I'll put an air manif or a manifold right here. I'll just cut something up on the, on the lathe. Put a manifold right here. And then that whole assembly, this whole thing, this plate is the same size as this top plate. So we'll set up here, you'll have the radiator here, pump, and the tank up here. And then what I'll probably end up doing is I'll probably put a PLC or something on here. Probably somewhere over in this region, because that pump will fit underneath the tank. And then I'll put a panel right here, and what it's going to do is it's going to control the post flow on that TIG. This TIG only has 10 seconds of post flow. Pre-programmed, hardwired into it, or hard programmed. You cannot change it. So, essentially, 60% of this, when doing steel and aluminum, is just poof. It's gone. It just blows off into the atmosphere. Because I can't turn the post flow down. If I do aluminum, it's even worse. About 80% of that tank is gone. So, post flow, all my PLC stuff is 12 to 24 volt. This, the solenoid in the back for the gas is 24 volt. So, I'll just disconnect it from here. I'll go to the transformer inside. That'll power the PLC. And then I will be able to set the post flow time on this anywhere from one second to forever essentially or even less than a quarter of a second all the way down to five milliseconds and once that's done i got to make a connector here so what this will do is this connector here is going to have a block and i'm going to drill in and then over and then over here it's going to drill in and over and what that or what that's going to do is allow me to exit the gas, keep continuity, and then inrush the liquid, run that up to the torch. So the manifold the torch will be on will no longer be this. 
What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pipe everything up to here and my manifold is gonna sit right here on a big isolator block that will be probably HDPE insulated and probably half inch thick and that'll get milled out. So yeah, this is what we're going for. Hopefully this works out well, let's get to it.